Sam's all like, let's get to work. And then she's sitting there on her phone. Dude, I'm waiting wow. for you. I'm sitting here waiting for you, this wide open gym. Time to record stuff, you know, film a video and you're too busy TikToking. TikToking? No, definitely not TikToking. Can I have that? Sure. Thanks. All right, I'm here at Flames with my little brother, Brayden, my friend Darnell, my teammate. Um, some of you guys have probably seen him in a lot of my stuff. If you haven't, uh, if you check out like on my Instagram page, I post IGTVs pretty often now, and he's always like the star of all those. Always the star. Here. Literally, like he gets more comments on all of my stuff than I do because everyone loves him. He's this is the one. too good but today we're gonna to be showing you guys how to do a little bit of stuff yep. so a lot of you guys ask me quite often how to do round offs into stuff because I've already done tutorials on back handsprings uh, back tucks and other types of flipping skills and today I need to teach you come here you see this kid he's gonna ruin this whole <laughs> video stand still and quit getting near me in my video I just told you that <laughs> So today I'll be teaching you guys how to do some round off skills into other skills. Um, that's been one of the most requested things lately, uh, how to do round off back handspring, round off back tuck, round off layout, round off full, just round off into other skills. So today with the help of Darnell, I'll be teaching you guys how to do that. Now before doing a round off into other things, obviously you need to know how to do a round off. I'll do a very quick basic way to do that. Um, before a round off, you should have a cartwheel. I guess you don't need it, but I mean they're almost the same skill anyway. So I mean if you can do one, you should be able to do the other. Now, obviously, cartwheel is nice, straight, facing forward. A lot of people try to think of it as a sideways skill, which it's not. So round offs and cartwheels will start facing a certain direction, not sideways. You're facing forward and reaching forward when you do these. All right, basic cartwheel. Like I said, start facing forward. Boom, boom. All right, very basic, very easy. Um, you don't need to point your toes and all that stuff, obviously. Uh, if you're doing this for a sport like gymnastics, you absolutely need to focus on good technique, perfect body lines and all that. But just for the sake of learning how to do just a round off and you're just tumbling a little bit in your backyard, don't worry too much about all the nitpicky stuff. Um, next, round off. So treat that cartwheel almost the same way. The only thing that's mainly gonna change is your foot placement. So when you land, you're landing on both feet and your hand placement just a tad when you're putting your hands onto the ground. So for a cartwheel, I would do it putting both hands onto a line, so boom. Both hands go onto that line now for a round off. The thing that's mainly going to change is where I put my second hand. For me, uh, I do my all my skills to my right side. Most people will do them to the left, so just mirror what I do. So if you do it with your left, just start with that left foot in front, left hand goes down first, and then cartwheel. So for the round off, the main thing that will change is where you put your second hand. So first hand is still gonna go on that line. The second hand is gonna come around a bit. So you'll notice as I put my hands down, one hand, the other hand. All right, just tucked my shirt in so you guys don't have to see my belly this time. But again, hand placement. So first hand goes down, second hand comes around a bit more and then landing onto both feet. So I've been doing it from standing. A lot of times you'll do it from running uh, into a hurdle. I'm just gonna do it standing for you, but round off, hands, both feet. So my friend Darnell here, he is like most people when it comes to the direction that he twists and does his skills. So he's gonna show you the left side. So that was a quick little crash course in the very basic cartwheel and round off. And now time to get into how to connect that into other higher level skills. As you can see, his arms are up. You always wanna finish with your arms up when doing your round off. Uh, so feet are underneath, arms are straight up above. This is so that whatever skill you're doing out of that round off, back handspring, back tuck, double back, anything like that, your arms are already up and ready to go where you need them. Now, the next biggest thing would be where your feet are in relation to your upper body. So for him, if he wants to do a round off into a back handspring or a whip, a skill that involves going backward, he will land with his feet slightly in front of him so he has that backward falling motion to go backward. Aside from putting the feet in front to go backward now, if you're trying to go up, so if you're trying to do a round off into a high, like a, a nice high skill, uh, layout, double back, fulls, like literally any skill that involves you having to go up, obviously those were not in order of difficulty, but just any skill that involves you going into the air pretty high, feet will end up a bit behind you. So you're gonna finish that round off or your handspring, whatever it is, with those feet a little bit behind you to help you set up. 
Now again, feet in front to go backward, feet just a tad bit behind you to shoot you up. So now I will show you a connection from a round off into a back handspring, uh, me going to my right, and then Darnell will be going to his left. So my little brother is very adamant on being a part of uh, this video. His all-time favorite thing to do right now are round offs and cartwheels. So he's going to show us a little bit of his skills. Hi guys, I'm showing you some of my cool flips like down the set. Okay, you got to run into a round off for us. Okay, now round off or cartwheel to splits. Yeah. All right, come here. Yep. Good job. Oh, what? what? <laughs> Get out of here. Now, as I'm sure a lot of you guys notice from uh, my tumbling stuff, I almost always do a round off back handspring into things, uh, whether that be like into, well, sometimes whips also, but it's always a round off whip or round off handspring into other skills. I rarely do round off into skills that involve going super high. Um, just kind of hurts my body a little more. I'm getting super old, you know, and uh, handsprings just feel a little bit better on my body usually. So I normally do round off handspring into like double fulls or double layouts, all that stuff. Handspring's my best friend. But for the sake of this, you guys wanted to know how to do round off into all the other types of skills. Uh, Darnell and I will show you some round off back tucks, round off layouts, or some other skills like that. So much, so much height, so much height. <laughs> so again, some of the very basic things to do a round off into these other skills is making sure the proper hand placement, so the difference between the cartwheel and the round off, landing onto both feet and then knowing where your feet should be and where your arms should be. So again, landing with feet together for the round off, landing with those arms up, and then depending on, where, or depending on what you're trying to do out of the round off, whether your feet are in front of you or behind you a bit. So if you feel like you learned something today, make sure you leave a like, and then in the comments, I do read them, and so that's how I came across doing this tutorial for you guys. Uh, I try my best to give you guys what you're asking for, so any other tutorial ideas, make sure you leave a comment, and I can help you guys out with some more skills. As I said, round off is on the more basic end, so I do have some other uh, skill tutorials that I uh, showed you today. So the round off into certain things like back handspring and back tuck, I have already made tutorials on those, so feel free to go and check those out.